brush radius option can be used to affect how the clip brushes cut away parts of the surface. When I hold the control and shift key together to make a selection, everything outside of the selection area is clipped away. When I hold the control shift key and then tap the space bar, the brush radius option pops up. I'll make a similar selection and now you'll see that uh, the trimming occurs but a little bit's left over. Now I'll lower the draw size slider to bring down my brush radius and I'll make a similar selection and you'll see that there's a little groove added to the surface. The amount that's trimmed away is determined by the size of my brush radius. Now I'll hold Control Shift in the space bar and turn on the polygroup option and this option automatically generates polygroups for every cut you make with the clip brushes. In this case, I'm using the curve stroke type with brush radius turned on, and you see when I let go, I get these kinds of interesting details. So I have a mesh I've generated in Shadowbox. I've turned on the brush radius option for the rectangular clipping brush, and you'll notice now when I trim away parts of the surface, it leaves small grooves in the object. And polygroups are also automatically generated. In this case, I'm using radial symmetry and the circular stroke type for the clipping brush with brush radius turned on. You can see I get these interesting grooves, circular grooves on the edges of my object. And I'm just trimming away different parts of the surface and you can see grooves are being added. So when you're creating your hard surface models in ZBrush 4, try activating the BR radius or the brush radius option for the clipping brush and see what kind of details you can come up with while you're experimenting.